Welcome back to Combat Consulting. This is a special video on check hooks, which I made to supplement the pivot series I've been dropping. Before you watch, take a second to like and subscribe. It's free and you can change your mind at any time. It helps the channel so much and I take subscriber requests for videos. One of the most common mistakes is dropping your opposite hand when you throw a punch, like dropping your rear hand when you throw a jab. Another mistake is failing to bring your punch back to guard after you throw it. Both these mistakes leave one open to the check hook. There are some important keys to landing the check hook, which we're going to analyze in this video. I already went into the reasons why lead pivots go well with threes in my last video, The Power of Pivots Part 3, so I won't repeat that info here and bore you, but check that vid out so you know what I'm talking about. We're going to look at three different footwork options for the check hook today. The set foot position is common and requires timing, good distance judging, and a snappy hook. Timing an opposite hand of the opponent's lead cross is a great usage. Or use it when a same hand of the opponent drops their rear guard while throwing a jab, like Mosley against Floyd here. Dark Close keeps his rear guard low while he approaches White Shorts with a wild telegraphed lead hook. So you already know what happened. White Shorts fires a quick check hook, lead pivoting out as slash after he throws and gets the KO. Here, Shakur reads the incoming two and he times the ops wind up to land a three plus lead pivot, taking himself offline and out of range of the two. This is only possible because his opponent commits a big mistake by dropping his lead hand as he twists into the two. Again, Shakur times his three perfectly with Valdez's approach and uses the rotational velocity of the three to lead pivot, just out of range. Shakur actually gets clipped with a check hook here because he makes one of the most common mistakes. After his probing jab, he throws a two, but he doesn't bring his jab back up to high guard, instead dropping his lead hand as he twists into the two. Dropping the jab instead of bringing it back to guard creates the opportunity to counter with a check hook. If you can time an opponent to catch them just as they throw, you can clip them with a three while you lead pivot to safety. Another option to set the check hook up is a lead slip, lead pivot plus check hook, but I don't really like this option as much. It's great for training the check hook because there is natural balance transfer from the lead slip that preempts the check hook, but I find it too slow against good opponents, too many steps. A better option is something that pivots and throws the three simultaneously, like the lead sidestep pivot. My last video, part three of the pivot series, goes super in depth about the mechanics of the lead side set pivot, so I won't get into it too much here, but there are tons of good examples. Blue Shorts drops his rear guard as he enters with a jab, so you already know he's about to die. Orange Shorts waits for the moment, doesn't get intimidated by the jab, judges the distance perfectly and fires a check hook as he pivots out to safety for the KO. I love the step back, lead side step pivot, plus check hook, because it baits opponents in and then changes directions 90 degrees, offense and defense at the same time. As soon as you land on your rear foot from the step back, push laterally 90 degrees off your rear foot, moving towards your lead side while you throw the check hook. This is a great way to draw in a rushing opponent with backwards motion, baiting them, setting a trap, and then escaping while you punish their aggression. I also like to add a jab to this step back because it can provoke sloppy overhands that removes their rear guard and you can avoid that easily with a simultaneous lead pivot as you throw a check hook. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm dropping more videos all the time and a subscription and a like helps the channel out so much you have no idea. Help me beat this YouTube algorithm and always stay up.